full of stories about how many business days sick leave cost UK industry. And here at Stephen Scone, we regularly deal with inquiries about how to manage sickness absence. Sometimes, though, it can be easy to forget that managing someone's return to the workplace can be just as important and as difficult as managing their absence. Now, I don't have a silver bullet that will guarantee that the return will be successful, and a range of behaviours are going to be important, with adjustments to take into account the reasons for and length of the underlying absence. Someone returning from a physical injury following an accident is going to be in a very different position than someone returning from a mental health absence. So make sure you know what the latest medical advice is for that particular employee and their hours, duties and so on. But two words of caution. First, be careful about how widely known this information is. It's sensitive personal data and letting people have it without the employee's consent could be a serious breach of confidentiality. Secondly, at this point it's more about the person than their illness or condition. It's about good people management, effective communication and showing sensitivity and understanding to your employee. Talk to your employee's line manager. They're likely to be their first point of contact and responsible for the day-to-day -day management of them once they return. However, if they're part of the problem, clearly you're going to need to put someone else in that role. You might want to think about getting in contact with your employee before they return. Make sure they know what's going to happen on their first day so they're not taken by surprise. The first day should include a return to work meeting with your employee. This is partly just to check how they're feeling and making sure they're all right, but it's also about updating them on relevant things within the team and the business. But don't overload them. At this point, it's about headlines, things they need to know so they don't feel out of the loop. Offer them support and reassurance and make sure they know where to go to for help if they need it. You need to manage those early days carefully, even with the best laid plans. An employee doesn't really know how they're going to feel until they're back in the workplace, so keep everything under review and be prepared to adapt if you need to. Lastly, keep going. It's easy to return to business as usual once an employee is back at work, but they may need support for many months to come and there need to be routes to make that happen. If you've invested in someone over a period of time, don't give up on them now. Make them feel that they're welcome back in your business and that you want them back fully functioning as well as they can.